let's go. Let's let's look at the winners match here. Yeah? So the winners of this is very likely to be the the first place, although it's uh, not guaranteed. Because uh, someone else can still be six one, but it, it will almost guarantee you the first place. So this is like the pseudo final of this lane. So what do you do here? So let's look at this. Top view has stuff like combat training. I really don't appreciate this card, but I've seen a lot of player playing that. I'm not sure whether it's good or not. So if chat, if you're there. Uh, let me know how do you think about cards like combat training, evidence blessing. Yeah. So what you're trying? You're you're not dueling this. Dueling this is just bad. I think this is. I think this is very bad. I think there's literally no reason for this for you to do this. You are wasting a card. Yes, you farm a farm a hero and. Hero dying on the first turn is actually not very impactful. Yeah. Combat training, this is good. This this is I guess <sighs> combat training can be relevant in these cases, right? It allows your red hero to farm opponent's hero better. That makes sense, but what if you don't line up, and then that that card becomes just bad? It, it, you are wasting one card to 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 kill a creep. So I I think that is still not the most powerful cards. So stop Jeep has to make use make full use of 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 the tool. If this you see this is see. What is the Beastmaster even doing? It's gonna hit the creep this turn and you're not developing anything while your hero is down. I think Duel is very powerful in the late game. So you're probably giving the Stonehawk Cloak. Yeah, and the rooting is very good for stock for exact because these heroes are not really doing anything. It's just killing creeps. So this good help is part of the, the equilibrium of the creeps for left lane is even, for middle lane it's even, right lane it's slightly in favor of stock stock thieves. Do you play the prowler just to save the creep? No. Okay. Is there a reason not to play the prowler? Is there any way? Now you, you on the timing of, of where to cast the prowler vanguard, I am actually until now I'm not too sure how to cast on it. Where, when to cast on it? It seems always good to cast it on to play it on on curve because uh, yeah, it's always nice to play cards on curve. But at the same time, it's it's a zero damage creep. So I guess if it dies immediately, and there's no point playing it. But just now it doesn't die immediately, right? it stays there for two turns. So I think you should definitely play, play it. So what is happening this turn? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing that Exot can do. And, and look, uh, you see how bad is this duel? This duel is, the duel just now is just bad. And you can't even save your Beastmaster right now. I guess you can theoretically save it by playing the Cloak and the Fight Through the Pain. That will put you up just one damage short of dying. But now, Exact is able to redeploy the Trian. Yeah, I think you just let the Beastmaster die. There's really no point keeping Beastmaster alive. Right, the, the first the play just now is justifiable. Uh, the first first turn duel, if you have a payday in hand. But we know there's no paydays in Sortif deck, so I don't really like that that play. 
Mist is going to be Mist is super strong uh, when you combine with let's combine with strength. So it's going to hit hit eight damage next turn, which means it's one shot crit. So I think for Stop Chiefs, if Exard is not playing anything, you probably has to go for the Disciple. Disciple will push for 2, 4, 6, 10 more damage. Alright, I guess Disciple next turn is probably still the same because it's not going to kill the tower in one turn. I feel Stalk Jeeves has totally lost the first thing. My, yeah, just because of the dual play. Hi Valgor, what's up? What's up? So currently this is a six, the sixth round. But this is a very good draw. I think for Stalk Jeeves, you just okay, can't do anything. This first thing is secure. I'm not. I don't really like that that coup de grass. But at the same time, there's he, he has nothing else to play. Right? Yeah, he has only one black hero. Might I might as well just use use a coup de grass. If he if he has a black in the middle, I more than one black hero. I think you don't play a coup de grass there. Here, what do you do? As exact, you just got strength. Right? There's nothing else that you can. So I think Stop G's win condition right now is to go for the AD on the right lane. There's actually no way for him to take the middle lane. With his with his two red heroes, what are they gonna do? Primal Raw, maybe? Primal Raw? Primal Raw is it is an out. Uh what is that gonna do? Keeps your hero alive? I guess. What is this going to do? Gives you initiative for what? Put the grass on the first thing. Yeah, I get. I think that makes sense. Might as well just play it because you don't want to get primal draw on the first thing, considering uh, Beast Master is coming. But I think Beast Master going first thing is risky. It's just, it's just very risky. Okay, this lane, okay, this is a very good primal raw. Is there any way for Exact to shut that down? Not really, right? Death is coming. And you can, you can, you can stun him, <laughs> but he just, he's just going to equip. Something and boom, there you go. That's why I, I really don't like uh, losing a tower that early. It kind of limits it, the way that you play uh, later in the game. So, yeah. Especially in draft, you always fight for the board in all three lanes. You really don't give up any lane. Unless you see your opponent has overcommitted. This is not really an overcommitment. Two hero is just enough, but not too much. And he and as you see he didn't really cast any uh, strong 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 creeps on the right. So there's really nothing that stop this uh exact can do here. He wish he had a primal rock, but he does. But it does not have. He's not a beast master. There's nothing really can, he can do. He can just play the god strength, and that's all. Raw. Okay, this is going to be very strong for stop Jeeves. because he can relentless pursuit this guy. Ouch. Ouch. This is too good. 
Too good of a roll. Too good of a roll. You think I trapped you alone? Too good of a roar. And we have two here two two black heroes coming in. It's going to be very hard for stop to uh, for exile. So what do you do here? Do you play the conscript? I think you probably save it for the first thing, right? Yeah. You just maybe just play something like a fighting instinct and then you just fly away. Or if you want to keep the initiative, you just fly away. And don't play anything. Yeah. In case you, you, you are able to draw your second primal roll all the time of triumph, you will want to be a player. But what are you wor wor worried about? Is there any way for uh, Exar to relocate his hero? He has one villainous pursuit, but if he plays that, uh, he's going to lose the initiative on the, on the middle lane. Okay. This is this is probably GG for our stop chiefs. Uh, for for exact yeah, a win for stop chiefs. And no this guy's name is triggering me. <laughs> stop chiefs, stop chiefs. And this lane is just sticking down. As exact you just you have to just concede, right? There's nothing that you can do. That's the end for this game. And very likely Stop Jeep is going to be the winner of the tweak. So let's look into one of the 12 points. People are Roji and Call Solo. Yeah, Roji. The blue deck. Multicast. So Cunning Plan should be able to seal the deal for Roji in the first lane. Yeah, swap this too. No, uh, this is 5. Actually, it's not enough. Right? Is there a way for him to deal one more damage? Actually, he can't. <laughs> Actually, can't. This is doing 29, not enough. Yeah, he, he might as well just throw. So if you swap this, it's still 8 damage. So these two combined with the arrow there is still 8 damage. Ouch. So Kelly solo is most likely going to lose the game. Although he has a vesture, but unlikely he's going to do, be able to do anything. And going for AD here, it's not realistic. Yeah, I just paid it. What is this going to do? Yeah, but whatever. I mean, this. So now, yeah, he, I guess he can TP out. He can pull out the Debbie. Drop, dropping it here. If he can cool, what does Roger has as removal? He has friendly fire. And there's no way for him to kill the Debbie. So I think Kelly Solo is going to survive for one more thing, one more turn. Four creeps, everything going to the left. Party lane, party lane. So I think it will be tempted for. It will be 
attempted for. Uh, Roji to friendly fire this. It's two of them. Yeah. I think it actually has no chance, right? Because he has the dagger. Uh, he has the musket. So, musket on Ogre, it's going to be enough. So, he's probably going to cool the grass. The key fee. And. Think, thinking that he has a chance. But actually, he doesn't. Can he solve? Ah! Why, why, why didn't he even. <laughs> he don't even play for that line. Okay. Fine. I mean, at least you, sh you should always try, right? 